This video was sponsored by Skillshare. This is the Zero 18. It is the first phone of a small Berlin-based startup called Block. It is a minimalist smartphone built to get rid of distractions. And this is what happens when a small team decides to completely reinvent the smartphone interface. I've had a few days with two early prototypes, so let's take a look. This isn't just yet another standard Android phone. The Block 018 wants to cure your smartphone addiction, although you wouldn't know that it's unique from just looking at the device itself. In fact, the notch on the front and the iPhone light back actually make this a fairly standard mid-range Android phone for 2018. I like the translucent back, but the hardware certainly feels fairly generic. Makes sense, Block is a small startup, so the hardware is probably off-the-shelf stuff from China. But as soon as you look at either the space food inspired packaging or the company's fancy website, or as soon as you unlock the screen, you notice that something is different. This phone, and the company behind it, is actually rather unique. There are two modes on this phone that you can switch between, and we'll start with the less extreme one that the company calls Minimal Mode. It's basically just standard Android with a monochrome launcher and a skin applied to it. If you open apps, they launch in monochrome mode by default because our monkey brains are apparently really easily distracted by colors. A cool trick here is that you can just tap the fingerprint reader to toggle color on or off anywhere in the system whenever you need it, like let's say when you want to take a photo. It's pretty nifty, but that's pretty much all there is to minimal mode as it's really only meant to be used when the other mode gets a little too restrictive. Because block mode is where the company wants you to spend your time. This mode has three main screens, all in black and white of course, and each one of them was designed with two goals in mind. To keep distractions in check as much as possible, and to keep you from opening apps as much as possible. By default, your notifications are shown on tiles as dots, and if an app annoys you, you can easily phase it out by hiding its notifications, muting it, or reducing its brightness, because dark stuff apparently attracts our eyes a lot less. Oh, and you can also lock individual apps from here. Of course, this is a grid of icons, so you can just use it to launch your apps if you need, but the company is slowly building out functionality so you won't have to. After all, opening apps is usually the first step to a user being sucked into an endless scrolling time waster. And, uh... <clears throat> Pro tip, uh, binge watching Tech Altar videos or scrolling through Tech Altar tweets is definitely not considered a time waster, so just keep watching. Right. Anyway, so as a start, some apps like Spotify let you do basic controls from the tile without opening the app, and I was told that Block wants to add similar controls to most common apps in the future too. The screen on the right is called the Tree, which wants to be a unified communication hub, so the system automatically pulls out SMS messages, phone calls, WhatsApp, Telegram, Messenger, and other conversations from the apps and puts them all into this page. You can then switch between channels like WhatsApp or SMS per contact and have them appear in one feed, all without opening an app and without having to care or remember which service a person uses. And similar solutions were available on BlackBerry with the BlackBerry Hub as well as Windows Phone in the early days. And as far as I know, neither of them ever really took off, but you know, Block's solution is somewhat different, so maybe this one will be a hit. And by the way, you might have noticed that even navigation buttons are hidden in the block UI, as all you do here is swipe either to the right or to the left. Very minimalistic. To the left, you have the last screen called the root. Here you're supposed to type in commands and have the phone serve you results. So you can type weather Berlin to get the weather. You can type news and select your source to get the headlines. You can set up an alarm from here by typing in what you want and so on. Once again, the idea is to avoid opening apps as much as possible. Now, all of this software is definitely still a work in progress. Many of the integrations that they've built are still pretty buggy. There just aren't enough integrations yet. And it is pretty unclear to me if Block can keep up with all the changes in the future. After all, Block is hacking these integrations into Android and into Android apps. So if those change the way they work, these integrations might just break. I'm really interested to see if the company manages to fix everything before they release the phone in November. But even until then, I really like the ideas behind this phone and I just love how the software looks. Little details like the awesome boot animation give it a character, a kind of Berlin hipster design vibe that I just really dig. And if nothing else comes out of it, this phone will certainly end up being at least a fantastic UI or UX design case study. Anyway, the rest of the device is pretty much a standard mid-range Android experience. 
The Helio P23 processor is not too exciting, but at least the phone comes with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, so it feels reasonably snappy. The screen is not an OLED, which is definitely a missed opportunity given how dark the interface is, but at least the Full HD LCD screen they used is pretty good. The 3000 mAh battery is also pretty average in this category, and the camera well, it's too early to say given that this is an early prototype, but so far it didn't seem too impressive. But of course, real camera tests will have to wait until we get the final device. Either way, this phone wasn't built to be the best Android phone. It was built with a specific goal in mind. Block says that your regular smartphones are functional but too distracting, and most specialized phones, like the Lite phone, are distraction-free but not very functional. Block tries to integrate the best of both worlds by keeping all the functionality but still kind of shielding you from the distractions whenever possible. And if that is what you're looking for, then there just aren't many alternatives on the market right now. And given that this phone costs 359 euros, that also includes a full year of insurance, I think it's pretty reasonably priced. I actually got to hang out with the Block team quite a lot for this video, and I always find it really inspiring when just a handful of people have the necessary skills to build something cool out of nothing. If you have your own big ideas but don't know how to turn them into a reality, go to Skillshare to learn the necessary skills. They have over 20,000 courses on entrepreneurship, design, animation, photography, or whatever you're interested in, and right now I am in love with the design courses from Aaron Dreplin. Such a great teacher and a huge character. There are tons of really great courses like this one, so if you want to get access to all of them for free for two months, use the link in the description, and using that link will really help my channel out as well.